In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Kaleidoscope Maker in Digital Scrapbook Artist 2. First of all, you're going to need to use Photolab, and you can see that Photolab is not activated at the top of the screen. In order to activate it, you click on your image once. Now you can see Photolab is activated, so I'm just going to click on it. Once you're in your Photolab tab, you go over to your filters in the top right hand corner, and you left click once on this button. When you do that, you just move down to Distort, just rest your mouse on top, and then move over to the left hand side and you're going to click on Kaleidoscope. You'll see your image automatically starts to change, but in order to actually use the Kaleidoscope Maker, you need to expand it. So I'm going to go over here and just pulling down this tab, I'm just going to click on the arrow with my left mouse button once, and now I'm in my Kaleidoscope Maker. Over here beside exterior I have an option of transparent or image. I'm going to show you that in a moment. First of all let's go over to our angle and you can see that this tab is all the way to the right hand side. I'm just going to click on the tab, hold down my left mouse button, I'm just going to pull it to the left hand side and as I do that you can see that my image is starting to change. Over here beside images if you hold on to this tab, click on it with your left mouse button and keep it down and just move it over you're going to see that you're allowing the images to actually take many more images instead of just that one quick one. So as you play with these two features you're going to see that you can get hundreds and hundreds of different combinations. If at any time you want to see each feature one at a time just click on the tab that you want to select and using the arrow key on your keyboard you can just move it into the right hand direction or into the left hand until you're happy with the way that it looks. Once you're happy with your preview just click on OK. Now one thing that you will notice is that once you've got this back on your blank page, you also have a highlighted image of what your original image looks like. If you don't like that, then all you do is you convert this to a bitmap. To do that, make sure your image is selected, go to the top of the screen and click on Tools, then Convert to Bitmap. Leave everything in this area the way that it is. You want a dot beside 24 and you want a check mark in both of these boxes. Then just click on OK. Now you can see that the outline is gone and any time you move this image around the outline will never be there. So any time you want to use this you can. You can also save it in your DigiKit. I'm just going to delete this. Now if you've downloaded the free kit from Daisy Trail called Easter 2010 and let's just say you want to use this image in your Kaleidoscope Maker but you notice that when you select it you don't have Photolab at the top of the screen. That's because this image is actually not one piece. It's two different pieces. And you know this because underneath it tells you to ungroup it. You can ungroup it if you want. You can then move this around. You'll see as I click on each individual piece Photolab is activated. But let's just say you don't want each individual piece, you want both pieces. Well then what you do in this situation is make sure both pieces are selected, go to tools at the top of the screen, click on convert to bitmap, leave everything the way that it is, you want to have a dot beside 24, two check marks over here, click on OK, and now it's been converted into a bitmap. And you know this because it's no longer telling you to ungroup it and Photolab is now activated. Now you can easily turn this into a kaleidoscope using the Kaleidoscope Maker. So I'm just going to delete this. The next thing I'd like to show you is if you go into your photos and let's say you have a photo such as this and you want to apply a kaleidoscope to it, it's actually only going to create a circle in the middle of your image. So let me just give you a quick rundown of how that works. You make sure your image is selected, you click on your photo lab tab, you go over here, left click once and then you click on distort. Move over to kaleidoscope and this time you're going to pull down this tab so you're basically going to change your kaleidoscope until it's the way that you want it to look. Once you're happy with it, you go to exterior, you pull this down, and then you click on image. And what you're going to notice is that the image of the original photo is right here. Now that part doesn't change no matter what I do with any of these angles. They just continue to change in the circle portion but the sides don't. If you're happy with that you can click on OK and you've got yourself a nice new background or a nice new image that you can use. That concludes this video. If you have any questions feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca